Welcome back everybody inside the anatomy lab. This is going to be our fourth part of the muscles of the shoulder girdle series and today we are going to talk about retraction of the shoulders. If you have watched the other episodes of this series, this is going to be fairly simple for you because you already know all the structures and muscles that are involved in executing this movement. So let's hop into it and peel away all the muscle layers so we have a clear view of the bones and the movement itself. You can see it's pretty simple. It's pulling back the scapulars towards the spine and from the bird's eye view we can see how the scapula is sliding along the rib cage when retracting the shoulder. When we look at this close-up view, you maybe already have ideas where you use this movement in daily life. And also, I want to remind you of last time, when we discussed that a retraction and the protraction also is very often shown with a lifted arm. And this has everything to do with the muscles that are involved and how we are strengthening and stretching them. Here you already have one primary mover, the latissimus, engaged and I'm pretty sure by now you are able to tell which part of the muscles is working and you can already feel when you do the movement the fibers contracting. If not, just take a minute and try it out, feel inside your muscle and figure out which parts of the latissimus are actually working. Let's move on to two more muscles that we've already encountered in the previous episodes the rhomboid minor and major. You can watch them how they work hard and swell up when they pull the medial border of the scapula towards the spine. If you are a body worker and you see your clients, make sure you dig into these two because it will help out your clients and they will come back because they love your work. Let's move on to the third muscle of today, the trapezius. It goes without saying the same exercise as before, try to figure out which part of the trapezius is working when executing a retraction. Remember, it's an ascending, a transversal and descending part. I'm sure you can already tell this by now. I think we gathered enough information to fully comprehend this simple movement and I will bring back all the muscles layers that we have discussed today. Remember, it's the latissimus, it's the trapezius and the rhomboid minor and major. And again, I want to invite you to play around with this movement, isolate different muscles, do it one-sided or just feel the insertion or origin. And also I want to make you aware that it's possible to play around with the scapular placement and the rotation of the arm. You will discover that you find small differences in range of motion. Of course, if you are a body worker or you work with patients in a clinic, you can ask your clients to perform a retraction and you can palpate them while they execute this movement. This will help you a great deal to improve your sense of touch and it will also show you how differently people use their muscles to execute the same simple movement. Of course, this is also going to be very beneficial for your customers because they will learn to feel inside their muscles as well and of course they are going to improve their overall muscle coordination which is very important to have a healthy shoulder. I hope this information has been helpful for you and I'm looking forward to see you soon back inside the lab. Have a good one.